Now I go back and I resume working on the frame for the reel and I will start by removing the material from these areas here. And this is going to be just a rough cut. So I'm going to get close to the line but leaving a little bit of material for filing it away later on. Well, one is done, one more to go. It's a little bit rough on the edges, but with a little bit of filing, I think it's gonna get pretty good. We're moving along with this project and the next step will be to start finishing the inside of these openings. And this middle one here, I will have to fit the nylon washer into it. And for that, I'll use a file, but not just any file. From all the files that I have, I have one here that I think was made just for this job. And that will be, uh, let's say, mm, mm, okay, why not this one here? You may look at this and say, well, that's a little bit too big, don't you think? And I would say, no, I don't think so. I think it's perfect for this job. You'll see. I'm going to set the camera back on the tripod and you'll take a look at where I'm going to do. Okay, first step is done. From that big file, now I got these two little ones. But it's not over yet. And now I'll bring you along. And I got my jig, jigsaw. And those little pieces of um, file, now I mount it here. I think you got the idea and guaranteed much faster than doing it by hand. I'll bring the camera closer so you can see this uh, in detail. And here is my old trusted jigsaw machine uh, now converted into a filing machine. And by the way, I didn't destroy that big nice file, but I had to sacrifice a couple of these smaller ones. One with the rectangular shape and this one here with the rat. And there's no modifications done to the jigsaw. So replacing the files, it's just like replacing a blade. Okay, just like that. That's ready. Off camera, I managed to finish one of these middle holes and now I can fit the nylon washer into it. Just like that. So I'll carry on. I'm going to do these easier ones first and leave these middle ones last because this way I don't have to deal with the camera and filming it. Uh, I have to take my time to do these. Well, I said I wouldn't do it, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'll try to fit in the nylon washer into this middle hole and keep the camera running. OK, 
Okay, so I'm 12.4. I still have a little bit to go. I'm gonna finish this 13 millimeter distance here first, and then I'll worry about the rad. Now I'm gonna switch to another file, the one with the rad, to do the rads here. I'm making a small rad here so it doesn't shave the nylon washer when I push it in. With this black marker, I'm painting the inside and now I should be able to see where it's rubbing and then I can just, with a small file, okay, went in, it's a little bit tight, not much, okay, so let's see, okay, so I got this spot here, now I can just go back with this file and remove a little bit more not much, I don't want this to be loose let's try again okay, I think oh yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that Now using needle files, I'll clean up some areas that the other file left behind or it couldn't reach. Like this area here, there's a little bump there, like a step. And I got the washers fitted in. This one here, it's the one with the five millimeter shoulder. It goes in pretty good. And up here, it's the one with the two millimeter shoulder. And now with this chamfer tool, I'll make a small chamfer on each of these holes. There's one more thing that I gotta do before start cutting the outside profile, and that will be engraving my initials, an H and an R. And to do that, once again, I'll use my drill press machine, convert it into a milling machine with this uh, one and a half millimeter end mill. Okay, I got one side done. As you can see, my initials HR. And now that I got my initials engraved on the workpiece, it's time to cut the outside profile. And for that, I'll use my jigsaw machine. Okay, that was intense, but it's done. One more to go. And now using the belt sander and the jigsaw, but this time with the file, I'll remove this leftover material and I'll cut it right to the line, like I already done on this one here.
As you can see, my paper tent plate is falling apart, but I think it's good enough to make these final cuts. For now, I'll use the file to cut the areas where the belt sander couldn't reach. And now with this half round file, I'll cut the inside radius. I'm done filing using the jigsaw. And you know, it takes a little bit of time and effort to do this kind of work. But so far, I'm very pleased with the result. Next. I'll put a radius on these outside edges like I did it on these openings but before I do that I gotta do a little bit of cleaning on my bench because without the cutting and filing it's a little bit messy. The jigsaw once again saved the day. It may not be advised to do this kind of work using the jigsaw but I, I just couldn't do it any other way. So for now I'll clean up a little bit here and carry on with the work. And now using some needle files, I'll break this outside edge and also file a little bit more in some areas that the previous file couldn't reach, like this area here. After that, I use some uh, polishing stones and some sandpaper and I polish the whole thing. And now that I got the older radiuses done on all these edges, I'll use some polishing stones and I polish everything. After polishing with this 400 grit polishing stone, I'll switch to a 400 grit sandpaper and I fold it on this piece of wood and this way when it gets worn out I just move a little bit forward and this way I have always new sandpaper to work with. I polish this down to 600 grit with sandpaper and now I'll use the felt wheel with the polishing paste and I polish this once more. A little bit of WD-40. Wow, I guess this will do it. I'm gonna remove it. I put some uh, double side tape underneath. I would say not too bad at all. I'm gonna do this side now. As you see in these pieces now that they're polished and all shiny, I think they look great. But there's one more thing to do before I bend them to create that U-shaped frame for the reel. And that is to jewel this outside face to match the same finish that I put on all the metal pieces that I made for the spear guns, like the trigger and this handle plate. And to make the jewels, I'll use this simple tool. It's just a plastic tube, it's actually from a old pen, and this is a drill. And this is actually what makes the jewels. It's a piece of abrasive rod that I cut off from this bigger stick, and this is actually rubberized, but it has some diamond dust and abrasive compounds mixed it with. And now with this, and I'll use this on my drill press machine. I just have to clap this. 
And now, cut! Cut? What do you mean, cut? I didn't screw up the scene. I know you didn't, but we have to wrap up this video. I'm running low on film and I just can't leave the studio now to go to the corner store and get some more. So let's move on to the next scene, which will be the one that you tell everybody not to forget to give a big thumbs up and to subscribe to your channel. And this way, they will be notified by Google once you post a new video. So let's get the studio ready here. Where's my assistant? Hold this for me. Ah! I can't work with people like this. One more like that and you're fired. Well, you heard the man, so this will be the end of part 9 of my Spear Gun project. I hope you liked it, and if you did, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I invite you to visit, and if you like it, what you see in there, subscribe to it, and this way you'll be notified by Google once I posted a new video. So for now, I gotta say thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time on Mr. My Videos for You. Bye bye! Cut! That was a good one, eh? not bad, not bad. But don't worry, I'm not gonna give you any pay raise anytime soon. Oh, you're not gonna give me a raise? Okay, if you're not gonna give me a raise, then I'll quit. And I'll quit right now. Oh, now you're giving me a raise. And how much would that be? Okay, because I'm not gonna settle for the little raise. I want a big raise. Yeah, let's go in the office and negotiate this. Hey, I got a big raise. Bye.